That right there is me trying to find this joke for the first time. Here's what happens. What you see right now is a custom-made DIY FPV drone. And here's how I made it. Alright, so here are the parts of my drone. For the frame, I'm running a Johnny XL5 232mm carbon 5 inch frame, which is also 5 inches. For the chip I'm running, or the flight controller, I'm running the Mamba F405 Mark II chip. For the motors, I'm running the Emacs Eco2 2306 2400kV motors. For the camera, I'm running the Fox Seer Razer Mini. For the VTX, I'm running an AKK Race VTX. For the propellers, I'm running the HQ Pro, Pro, Pro propellers, which are 5 by 4.33 by 3 inches. For the receiver, I'm running the Foxier Lollipop receiver. For the batteries, I'm running the GNB batteries. For the goggles, I'm using the VR008 Pro box goggles. Finally, for the controller, I'm running the FlySky FSI6X. And yeah, those are all my parts. So here's how you make the drone. First thing first, you assemble the frame. So it's just a couple of screws in. It's not that difficult. And then you put the flight controller in. And basically you want to put all the rubber parts so the flight controller itself doesn't touch the carbon frame. After that, you screw in all the four motors, and then you solder the motors to the ESC of your flight controller. After that, you put. After that, you solder the power cable in. You solder the VTX in. Attach the antenna. Then you solder the camera, and then you solder the receiver. Then you screw in the top frame on, and you're pretty much done. After that, the rest is all in coding. So you code it in, or calibrate in. I would say in better beta flight. But yeah, that's pretty much it. After that, you're pretty much done with your drone and you can start flying. So for the last part of the video and the project, I would just like to reflect on what I've done. Um, basically, I think that this project was very... It was fun, not to say the least. The building part and all the gathering the part was really fun and that whole day of making it was super fun and interesting. Um, but I would say something that I'd say if I had more time, I would probably go back and learn and practice more with the drone itself because FPV drones are really hard to master and learn and you can see in the video I'm kind of struggling because even just a little bit like a little kick to the trigger itself the drone launches into the air so in the future I hope to really cover that and then maybe get some cool shots anyways that's it for my project thanks for watching